Changing backgrounds has never been so easy and exciting, especially if you don't have Photoshop skills, like I don't have. So we'll cover how to turn image like this into this. We will be using stable diffusion and we'll cover how to do it within painting and I will also cover a very awesome feature that you will love. And in the end we'll cover how to change small details in these backgrounds. Let's jump into Automatic 11.11. The first thing to do is to select a stable diffusion checkpoint. I will go with Rev Animated and for these techniques I'd suggest you to select an in-painting version. Now go to the Image to Image tab and here select the In Paint tab. Select the image and drag it here. I'll be using this from Deadpool 3. So the next part is the most important one. We need to paint the mask of what we want to change or vice versa. And what I recommend is to paint the one that is easier. You can start by painting big areas. In my case, I will paint the ground the Deadpool and Wolverine. This area is what I want to keep, so I will mask what I want to keep. But you can mask what you want to change, in this case the background. Once you have the entire mask, it's time to write our prompt. And for this case, we'll use some small prompt of multiple explosions. We want to turn this picture more interesting. Then you can select a generic negative prompt, and in the parameters, you can select crop and resize if you are using an image with different dimensions from the output one. I will go with 768 by 512 landscape. Regarding the mask mode, make sure that you select the right one. For this case, I want to in paint what is not masked and choose the sampling method that you like the most. The remaining parameters can stay as default. Now let's generate a new background. Well, pretty cool explosions. This seems way more interesting than the original picture. So let's generate 5 more images to see if you get more cool explosions. Remember that you can always add more details to the image and the prompt each time. And here are the results. Now we have material for a real action movie. Now it's time to move to another way to change the background by using in paint anything. And pay attention, because this tool is awesome. If you don't have this extension, you can go to the links in the description and install it from the URL. Make sure that you also install the segment anything extension, which is another fantastic extension that we'll be using, so you need both extensions. Coming back to the In Paint Anything tab, select a model here. I'll be using this one, but if you already use this extension, let us know in the comments what model you prefer. Then, if you don't have this model, press in Download Model. In my case, I already have it. Now, drag and drop the image that you want and pay attention. What I'm about to show you is Awesome! This is where the magic of this extension happens. Here in the padding area you don't really need to make much, so we are sticking with the default values. But now press in the run segment anything button and wait. And voila! With the segment anything model you are able to segment any object from an image and this is really useful for several use cases. We will use this to mask the areas that we don't want to change or vice versa. All you need to do is this what you are seeing. You just need to mark each colored segment to create a mask of that segment. Watch this. When you press in the create mask button, it will process a mask over the areas that you selected. But careful, there is one thing that you should have in mind. You should not wrongly select or misclick in areas that shouldn't be masked. Watch what will happen here. It will mask the entire black segment. To save you time from this error, you redo your last selection and use a smaller pencil to select small segments. 
Right now you can probably see the pencil, but here it is aligned. Alright, moving on. Here's another tip for you. Keep marking areas, but press on create mask to keep checking if everything is fine. This way you won't have any problem and you won't lose time in the process. Alright, now that we have our mask complete, let me know in the comments what mask process do you like the most, in paint versus in paint anything. Here we have a couple of functions from this extension that are really cool. But for now we will only use the mask only tab. Press in that tab and then press in get mask and send it to image to image in paint. Now let's write another prompt for this use case. I will go with cyberpunk, New York City street, neon lines and a night sky. In the parameters we don't need to change much, but we'll keep crop and resize as well as in paint not mask. And regarding the resize, let's switch to the values because now we have a portrait image. Now let's generate image with a new background. Well, awesome image. Now we have Deadpool and Wolverine walking down in a cyberpunk New York City. But we have a problem here. We have this strange hair that is not supposed to be here. We are going back to the in paint anything tab. In here you grab the mask and then you need to expand the mask region. So press in the expand mask region but be careful, you don't want to do this too much. Now we send the mask to the image to image in paint again and generate new image. Well, as you can see it really improved our images and mitigated the problem. Now picture this scenario. You have an image that you really like, but it has a defect that is ruining the picture. Send the picture to InPaint and paint the areas that you want to clean or remove like I'm doing here. Then you can just resize, but you need to select InPaint Mask to change what you've just masked. Now you generate again and the image should be better. Well, in this case, we need to make more changes. The tip is to keep interacting until you get what you really want. It is necessary here to give more context of what it is needed to change. So I just need to increase the mask to the buildings area in the background. As you can see, this area got really better. So, have in mind to keep interacting with this process until you get a perfect image. So, if you want to watch more videos about Stable Diffusion, take a look at this playlist here. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Peace. Bye.